if someone's watching this right now yeah. and they're a potentially 30, 40 year old bloke and they have they don't have a lot of lifting experience, yeah. but they've maybe seen the last episode, they've listened to you, they've been a bit inspired now to get into the gym and start yeah. lifting weights. What advice would you have for that person? First one and best, get a coach. I mean, that's that's the best one to, to do. Obviously get down to the gym. Yeah, first. okay, get a membership. Do, do, yeah, yeah, of course, <laughs> yeah, if you're not a gym member yet, but do your research, ask around, and get a coach. Yeah, okay. It's, it's the best way. So so I feel like that in itself is a minefield because mm. there's, we already talked about influencers and everybody else. There's, there's so many, because fitness it is quite an unregulated yeah. area yep. of expertise, I guess, yep. or lack of expertise in some yep. cases. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but there's a lot of coaches or, or the PTs out there that maybe aren't qualified. So how would you advise somebody identify <sighs> a, a good, a That's good a coach? That's a good question. Uh, I think have a look at who he trains, right? Uh, the track record. I know this might sound a little bit superficial, but how do they look like? You know, how do they look like? What? How do they train? Do you see them training? Uh, um, do they communicate well? But it, that that track record, I think, is very important. You know, you, you kind of have to do your due diligence to to do your research yeah. to find a good coach. That's the thing. Yeah. That's part of the journey, right? Like, yeah. and. <clears throat> I think a lot of coaching is done online these days. Yes. But we've already talked about the importance of, of uh, movement coaching and spotting. So if someone is at a gym where maybe there isn't anybody who's suitable yeah. to, to maybe sort of help develop strength, yeah. um, or certainly it doesn't appear that way, would you would you advise an online coach is a good option or not? Is there a total beginner? Mm. No. Okay. I just wouldn't do it. You need you need someone watching them, don't you? Especially with like deadlifting and you know their back. That's a big thing. It screams in my head. Back. Nine times out of ten, that online coach might have a hundred clients. He won't have the time to to coach you. Like if he was there with you. Yeah. Okay. The other thing I'd say, just on following that with online coaches and stuff, check that they're actually a fucking qualified coach. Yeah. yeah. The amount yeah. that I see, and you know he's you know he's got a good physique. Yeah taking steroids yeah. big talks to talk yeah, a little yeah. bit in front of a camera does a pose says i've got all these clients I've got this i've got that and then you actually look he's not even a, he's not even a, yeah, look, a level he, three person yeah, trainer could be the like, most basic thing like i couldn't believe it uh, not too long ago there was a coach at um i looked at you know he was he was online and you know i'd see his videos now and again and then i remember he, you know he was saying that he's got like 200 and something transformations and all this sort of stuff <laughs> and then on his story he's like what's the point of even doing this course? It's shit. And he was doing his level two. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, looking like, how the fuck are you yeah, giving all this yeah. advice on steroids, yeah, coaching, yeah. all these different fucking things. And you're not even a yeah. level two reps coach. Yeah. Yeah. I just, yeah. 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 It's a lot of that. Yeah. yeah. And, and I guess for anybody. And so check that. Yeah. yeah. And, and by checking that certification. Yeah. Not <laughs> just what they say. Say, can yeah. I see it? Yeah. Because there's so many fucking idiots out there. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So, I guess not everybody is in a position to f find a coach or afford yep. a coach. Yep. <clears throat> if somebody wants to, to get into the gym and lift weights, I guess similar to you back in the day, um, what would the advice to that person be? There's a lot of free resources on the internet. Yeah. Um, that's what I would do. Yeah. But okay. again, minefield. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's just so hard. You know what? Actually, so you go to the gym. And you're you're a beginner, yeah. And you see, say somebody like me or you two training and doing things properly. Ask that person, ask them. Okay. Ask ask the biggest guy in the gym. Yeah. Because normally nine out of ten they'd be nice. Yeah. And they'll guide you in the right in the right way. Yeah. With a uh, with regards to price though, like you're saying that people can't afford a personal trainer. What I say to a lot of my clients when they first start is a lot of people are living in a a shit way eating crap food doing this doing that you know most i'd say most people can find the money for a coach if they cut out the shit lifestyle that they're leading i agree and it ends up they save money by having a coach so many fucking times i've said to people right let's let's break it down then you, you don't think you could afford me let's break it down a little bit how much you spend a week on yeah. on takeaways and yeah, then they break it down they're like oh, it's you spending 70 pound a week <laughs> on takeaways you know what i mean yeah. you know what i mean that's that's triple what you're paying me yeah. a week you know what i mean so people can 
if they really want to do it, mm. find the money for it. Yeah. You know, because obviously like there's there's exception to that, you know, but most people who are working, they can do it. They can they can find, you know, they can find a hundred and whatever a month it is yeah. to, to fucking do it if they yeah. really want to. Yeah. yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. So, so quit the takeaways, quit the booze, get get a coach. Stop being yeah. a fucking bum. <laughs>